you. I am. I'll be there. Oh, you're going to see a lot of points in that one. I, I think so, at least from one team we're expecting. This is going to be windy like last week in Evanston. Yeah, it, you know, I checked the weather report. It doesn't look like it's going to be that same Jeez. weather. So I think C.J. Stroud will be a lot happier not having to take off and run. Which, look, we found out C.J. Stroud actually is a little more athletic than maybe even he wants people to think. Uh, rushed for a career high almost 80 yards on six attempts. So there is that in his back pocket if he needs it. He's not going to need it for this one. Look, this IU team has really struggled this year. I got a lot of respect for Tom Allen, the way he gets this team to play. But you, know, you could potentially be on your third, fourth string quarterback when you look at the fact that uh, Connor Basilick has been banged up. Jack Tuttle left the game, uh, too, most recently versus Penn State. Uh, so it's probably going to be Brendan Sorsby or Dexter Williams potentially starting for IU. That is a bad recipe on the road versus that crowd, that defense, the way they played this year. This is a huge number. But I also think it's one in which Ohio State is going to absolutely blow the doors off of IU. If this is in Bloomington, maybe a little different feel to it. But I just I don't see IU scoring points, and I don't I don't see Ohio State being stopped by any means by IU's defense. So I, it's a huge number, but I'm laying them here. I hate this game um, because I just <laughs> did this only on principle alone that it's too much versus a conference opponent. I mean, this is a Power Five team. I know they've had a rough year, and you know it's interesting what happened. What does the future hold for Tom Allen? Uh, if they do get absolutely dusted in this game the way I think it'll be. I think you're going to be sweating this one out late if you take those 40 points like I'm going to do right here. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm jumping in the deep end and just saying, hold on tight. I think you're going to see Ohio State. Because the, the thinking would be Ohio State's just going to, they're ticked off. They're getting criticized. What happened to this offense? But you did see the weather, which absolutely had an impact. And I felt, too, like they got judged differently versus other teams that have struggled. I mean, Georgia was in a dogfight with Missouri. They were in a dogfight with uh, Kent State. And yet, all of a sudden, we want to treat Ohio State like they're supposed to be flawless. Bad games happen. They still won by 14 points. I mean, right. I, know that, I know they were a 38-point favorite, but they still won. It wasn't like they were going to lose the well, They weren't game. docked for it, though, either. They're number two. No, but I, just the criticism, and maybe it's fresher in your mind, but I think that's why I'm a little bit scared of this, thinking they're going to be ticked off yeah. of the criticism, and you can use that if you're Ryan Day. I'm going to say they keep it inside that four. I think part of the conversation around just what happens in these games now, too, you look at the college football playoff committee, and you almost wonder if sometimes the teams factor this in, like, hey, even in this win, like, we, we didn't win convincingly last week. Weather, no doubt, played a factor in all of that. I mean, early start, Evanston, sleepy place. But now you're taking on a team in, in IU that you should pound at home. And I almost wonder if there's a thought to, we need to pat ourselves in the event that we would lose close to Michigan, where we could still make it in as a one-loss team. I know there's maybe a thought that Tennessee is going to be that team because they're sitting at number five. What happens if Ohio State loses a, a three-point game at home to Michigan? And they're sitting out there. That's their only loss. Michigan slides up to two. How far does Ohio State really drop? And do they sit there and maybe look at potentially sliding into the number four spot when it's all said and done? I, I wonder how these sorts of games, if you beat you know, an IU 62 to 10, how that factors into all of it. And uh, IU, by the way, you mentioned the issues at quarterback. They also have the worst defense in the conference, giving up the most points in the Big Ten. So uh, setting up for a big blowout for Brady on Saturday on Fox. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.